Good morning, YouTube. Sam here. Welcome you back to episode 9 of our Pokemon White Let's Play. Uh, last episode, we did just get through the second gym, and uh, Team Plasma turned up. Well, this this guy turned up, turning his Team Plasma's up to something. Um, and I guess we're just jumping straight into whatever's going on. So if you guys are excited for today's episode, please remember to leave a like down below. And um, I just want to find out what's going on. So, Team Plasma's threatening to steal some bones. <gasps> What what's going on? Sam, you come too. Okay. So I guess. They're in the museum. They're probably gonna steal the Dragonite skeleton. Like, that's like the the That's actually the only one that's got bones. Okay. <clears throat> ah now you wait. Enough fooling around. What's what's going on? So I guess these are all the grunts from Pinwheel Forest, so I think we're headed off to Pinwheel Forest after this as well. So, you've come, Gym Leader. We, Team Plasma, claim this museum's dragon skull in the name of Pokemon Liberation. It's alright, it's, it, it's dead. How can you liberate it? To show you we're serious, we'll steal it right before your eyes. Well then, here's our smoke screen. Plasma, plasma. Bang, where, where's the smoke? That was more like a flashbang. That was very white. Okay, well, um, they were definitely very swift with that. It's all gone. Yeah, what what is going on exactly? How did they... Right before my eyes, literally. Oh, oh we have to go after them. What's his name? Hawks. Or Hawes, okay. Lenora loves that skull. I love it too. It's not just all about Lenora, you know. Okay. The music's all gone back to peaceful and quiet, so I guess Team Plasma's a... a who's this guy? Good day, Lenora. Find any good fossils lately? Actually, mate, we just lost one. So no. <laughs> that is a, this is a surprise visit. Are you suffering from artist block again? Oh, is this the um ah I've, we've we've seen him. We've heard about him, I think. I can't remember his name. Sam, this is Burr. He may not look like it, but he's a Castellia City's gym leader. Castellia City, eh? I feel like that's like a big major city that we won't see for a little while. And then we'll find him later in the game. It'll be amazing. Eh, just looking for a change of pace. Seems hectic or something around here. What's up? What's up? The sky? Uh, someone just walked away with an exhibit. That's what's up. Oh, and Bianca's turning up as well. I bet Sharon will be here like five seconds later. Oh, hi, Sam. What's everybody doing here? There we go. There's Sharon, right on cue. Um, they just, they're always going around together. Sam, is there some kind of problem? Yes, um, well, not really a problem for me, because I don't really care where the skull goes, but never mind. And these two are your friends? I have friends? Wow, what a surprise. Bianca and Sharon. Oh, I see, they're trainers. Okay, then, let's split up and search. I'll head this way. Ah, everyone. Sharon and Bianca, I want you to stay here at the museum. I kind of feel concerned for the museum, like those two guarding it. Burr and Sam, you two search Pinwheel Forest. Why do I get designated to go with this guy? Okay, got it. Burr, you show the way. I'm counting on you, everyone. Ah, uh, you are Sam, is it? Are you raring to round up our robbers? I am, but you're just gonna go, apparently. That was nice of him. Oh, oh, Sam, take this with you. Fennel gave me this dowsing machine to give you. Nice. Does any... That looks like a Game Boy Advance. Um, just a tiny little bit. Not even that much. Does anyone know what dowsing means or dowsing? I don't really know how you say it. I've never understood it. Because I I much prefer the term item finder. That makes a lot more sense to me, at least. Anyway. Now, what did she tell me? Um, You can use the dowsing machine to find places where items are hidden. So you can find stuff you can't even see. Wow. Magic. For now, all we need to do is protect the museum, right? That is all you need to do. But I've got a feeling Team Plasma aren't going to be back. Because they've already got what they want. Hey, wait for me. But anyway, I still feel concerned for the museum. Like, two very mediocre trainers guarding it. I'm sorry, but they're pretty mediocre. I've beaten them, like, twice now. So, we did just do the second gym. And my team require a little bit of healing up. So we're gonna do that real quick. And then I guess we'll just head off to Pinwheel Forest and see what we gotta do over there. Um, I imagine it's gonna be a lot of Team Plasma battles and... I don't even know what else. I, I don't know what it even looks like. I don't know what Pokemon are there. So we're going to go find out. It's going to be exciting. Um, I think as well, Peter said in the comments. Oh, there was another comment as well that said. Oh, I can't remember what it was now, but it was something about have fun in Pinball Forest, but in like a sarcastic way. And it was just like, 
I think there's something in Pinball Forest that's going to be, um... I don't know. Just a bit of an issue. Actually, we're going to keep Rai out front. I don't know why I did that. I'm going to put Rai back out front, and we're going to go fight that nurse, because Peter said if we fight the nurse over here um, in Pinwell Forest. This is technically Pinwell Forest. It's just like a nice... Oh, hey, Burr. It's like a nice little road that we can go down. It's not all uh, foresty and wild Pokemon-y. This leads to Pinwheel Forest. If they manage to scuttle off into the forest, you might have trouble. I really like his hair. That's like hair goals, is that? Okay, let's just... Okay, you don't even want to fight? You do want to fight, please. Are you going deeper into Pinwheel Forest or the challenge... Or What is the challenge rock? I've not even heard of that before. Either way, unless you're tough, you'll just be rooted to the spot. I am tough. I will, I will prove this to you now. What Pokemon have you got? Nurse Sherry. You've only got one, which is good. You've got a Muna. Okay, uh, that's a psychic type. Is Dark super effective against psychic? Let's find out and switch Purloin out. Diana the Purloin, because we have got Pursuit on her now. I think I recapped that last episode after I'd done some grinding. Um, hopefully I'm not weak. Yes, I was correct. There's, a, there's like um, normal fighting, psychic, dark, and ghost types. I can never remember which does what to what. Um, so that means this pursuit should uh, be pretty darn effective and be a two-shot. Not gonna lie, I thought that'd do a little bit more than that. Like, I wasn't expecting a one-shot, but just a little bit more. We can't crit you now either, not that we need to, but cool. The moon is down, and we now get free heals off of this kind nurse, I think. Maybe she just heals us the once, I don't know. I think this game... Um, is designed quite well. Tough trainer will make your Pokemon healthy. So, there was the daycare on, was it Route 3? There's this lady here, um, and I think it's just much better than having to run all the way back to the Pokemon Center. They've obviously intentionally put them halfway along routes, just to kind of smooth things out a bit, which is really nice. It's nice they're designing things that well. Around Pinwell Forest, many Pokemon use moves to inflict problems such as poison, and paralysis. Oh no. If anything happens, let me know. So you're gonna heal me up, which is really nice. Ugh. So that means... That's probably what G-Guy meant in the comment uh, about looking forward to Pinwheel Forest. Um, so that's gonna be fun if we're constantly poisoned. Okay. Ah, well, you see, there are two ways out of Pinwheel Forest. The road that goes straight and the path that winds through the woods. Let me guess. <laughs> I'm going through the woods. Could have guessed that one. I'll take the straight road after them. If they're not there, I'll block the exit. Would you please take the other way and check whether Team Plasma is hiding in there somewhere? You run into a lot of trainers, but it's basically a single path, so I'm sure you won't get lost. Come on, let's do this for Lenora's sake. Wow, so you're just sending me on a little errand around the forest, so we can actually go this way. I think there's trainers, and I think we probably have to fight them and we can't even get further once we fought them, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to take these guys down here on, and I'm going to put... That seems like a good team. Ryan Banana for this little double battle. Um, I was going to say something as well about poisoning. But I can't remember what now. It was something along the lines of... Hey, there's a Team Plasma Grunt down there. How did the Team Plasma Grunt get past this double battle? These guys are like fierce. Damn. More importantly, how are these guys are alive? Wow, Twins, Mayo, and May. That's some interesting naming going on there. If that Team Plasma Grunt fought these guys, have they got any health left? And this is two Sawaddles. That's quite cool. We haven't seen these before. Or have we? I feel like I've seen Sawaddle a lot before, so I'm... Are you just... <sighs> I think you're grass bug types. Let's go for a rock throw. And let's go for a... Let's charge, because I don't think a shockwave's gonna, gonna kill you. So let's just charge up and spam shockwave, even though it's only the first shockwave that does more damage anyway. As I was saying about poisoning... Um, prior to, or after Generation 3, rather, I didn't do as much as I wanted it to. It's fine, it's still a two-shot. Anyways, after Generation 3, if you get poisoned, you can just run around and you live on one health. And I think that's so bad. I loved it when you had that potential danger of fainting because you're running around. Like, I would... Not I would, but I remember having times when I was playing, like, Pokemon Emerald. And, um, I would get my, like, my last 
Pokemon would get paralyzed. Sorry, I'm kind of concentrating on why I need to attack. My last Pokemon would get paralyzed, and I'd be running back. I wouldn't have any antidotes. I'd be trying to run back to the Pokemon Center. And, like, I would die, like, ten steps before. And then just white out. And then I'd get sent so far back. And that was just way more fun. It was really annoying, but it was way more fun and memorable. <laughs> Living on one HP, wow. Um, than just running around, living on one health and then healing up afterwards. Because the poison goes away and then it's just gone. If you've got super potions, that's just as good as an antidote now. And I, I don't like that. I think it was good when it was back the other way. Um, we need to go for a rock throw, definitely. And banana needs to switch out. Oh, do I? I'm going to heal because I want banana to get the experience. I think banana and rye uh, are some of my favorite to Pokemon. So I want to um, keep them healthy and keep them at a good level. Because there's a, a bit of a risk of Hallow just getting over leveled as well. And I want to keep a balanced team. Um, so that's my reason for doing that. Um, so this. Could we not have just got a crit? That would have been really nice. Ah, oh, please. Please can quick attack. I think I'm. I've, mm, I could probably shockwave, but I don't know if I'd outspeed. Quick attack definitely will. And we'll probably kill it. It will. Good job. What a what a good Pokemon battler I am. 140 XP. Rise leveled up to level 18. Get in these levels. Proper decent levels now. Twins Mayo and May were defeated. We have got a Team Plasma Grunt coming up. So I'm gonna keep right out front. I don't think we'll we'll run back and heal up after this battle. What do you want? Ah. Oh, you stubborn brat. When I'm through with you, you won't be able to chase us anymore. I think I'll be just fine, because I can still chase you without Pokemon. Probably. Okay. Let's just fight this guy. You've got a sand dial. Oh, that's quite cool. This music is so good as well. Have I already heard this? I'm pretty sure we fought Team Plasma in the, the Dream Yard. And that was the only time we've done it so far. But I do not remember the music being this good. Oh my goodness, I love this theme. Yes, so good. We're probably going to have a, lot, a whole episode of this as well, because... I think we've just got a load of Team Plasma Grunts to get, get through through this, this little forest, so... Anyway, the Leaf Tornado one-shots as expected. Poor little Sandile. We've grown to level 20. And, oh, you want to learn Leech Seed. That's pretty good. Okay, I guess we're going to get rid of Rap. Because Leech Seed is kind of like Rap and does chip damage. But, you got the added bonus of recovery as well. Leech Seed's actually one of those moves that's so annoying for the opponent or when you've got it on you. Because it doesn't take up, it takes up a turn to start up, obviously. But after that, it goes on forever until you swap out. And too bad I haven't got anything. If you want to get it back, you're just going to have to go look for my associates. Okay. Um, and once you've leech seeded them, they can't get rid of... Uh, does it go with rapid spin? Maybe it does. But basically, I just think it's a really good move because you get loads of health from it and it doesn't take up turns afterwards. And it's just like... It's just a solid move. Around Pinball Forest, many poke... Okay, we've read this already. Let me, let me leave. I'm going to go back into the forest. And... That's two trainers down already. That's um, that's a good little start. We've actually uh, kind of one-shot those guys. Okay, uh, we're going to sneak off down here. What Pokemon do we even encounter in this forest? <gasps> New stuff. That's going to be exciting. But before that, we're going to pick up a big root. What does the big root do exactly? Let's find out. No, let's not save. We're not saving just yet. We're not the end of the episode. The big root does... Oh, it's why is it at the top? Boost the power of a HP stealing move. Yes, please. I'm gonna... Does that... Oh, does that improve Leech Seed, though? I don't care. I'm gonna give it to Hallow. Because it's the only one that's gonna, gonna make use of it if there is the potential of it working on Leech Seed. Oh, it's a little Petalil. Hey, how's it going? So something we are kind of lacking on this team that I've just noticed is we're... We're not that well prepared for dealing with grass types, because we haven't got a flying type, we haven't got a fire type. Um, bug types are okay, like Sawaddle, we got Rock Throw for that. Um, but not too much else, so let's just hope we don't come into too many grass types. My, my, could you be looking for something? I am, I'm looking for a Dragonite Skull. Have you seen it? 
If you have, please let me know. That'd be great. Female Plasma Grunt has a Purloin. Um, is fighting going to do anything to you? Let's just find out. I don't know anymore. It's gone for an assist. Which didn't do anything. Okay. The low kick is super effective. I didn't even know that was going to happen. But I'll take it. Take a one shot any day. Because I do love me some Pokemon battles. But um, I also don't really like it when uh, when they take like 20 turns to get rid of one Pokemon. It just gets really boring. Ugh, sorry, I'm empty handed. Do I look like the kind of girl to carry a heavy load? Better try somewhere else. I'm going to try just up here. What is... What is that? Is that a rock? I feel like that's to do with a legendary Pokemon. It just looks way too... Way too convenient to be scenery. Just run away from these guys. I think I'll catch myself a Sawaddle at some point. I quite like them, but I don't think I'll use them. The surface is covered with moss. Touching it feels good somehow. That is so a legendary something. Or mythical. I don't even know what legendaries or mythical are in this game. If anybody knows what the mysterious mossy rock does, please let me know in the comments. You guys have been amazing as well in the comment section. So many like really long and in-depth comments and I just love reading them. And um, I just really appreciate them. I don't always reply to all of them because I feel like some comments you can't reply to. They're not so much really more encounters. They're not so much like comments that you can reply to. They don't naturally lead themselves into like a conversation. Um, but just to let you know, I do appreciate all the comments. I do read them all. Um, and yeah, I should, I should make more effort to reply to them, I think. What do you want? I think you're a ranger. <clears throat> you look like one. I patrol Pinwheel Forest every day. A battle here is a piece of cake. Well, this battle ain't gonna be no cake because I'm not any old NPC or wild Pokemon. I am a well-trained professional Pokemon child battler. Not Pokemon child battler. Pokemon battler. That is of the younger generation. Okay, we've got a we've got a level 18 Herdia. The memories to the uh, the gym battle. We're gonna avoid that that takedown, which is pretty nice. And low kick is such a good move. Can you not kill me in one hit this time? Oh, that's fine. We're living on half. Maybe you're weaker because you're not a gym trainer. Pokemon. Nice. That Herdia is down. Did you only have one Pokemon? Level 19. Yes. Please. So the other thing as well that I saw in the comments was Rai does not learn a new move apparently till level 29 and even then it's only bulk cut. Oh wow, we just got given a Chester Berry. Nice. So apparently Rai doesn't get it till level 29, which is ages and it's only bulk up, so it's really not that good. But Rai is one of my favorite Pokemon. In fact, actually everyone, I really love this team and especially the nicknames as well. Such a good team. Graham's so underleveled. We'll, we'll work on him at some point. Um, that's the other thing as well. Does anyone know want to get XP share? Because I don't know, and I would li I would like to know that. Because um, that'll be something that'll definitely come in handy. I'm actually going to use a potion real quick. That's Pokemon. I need my bag. Because um, it'll just save. It'll save running all the way back just to heal up a little bit of health. But I do want to be on a decent HP. For this next fight, because it looks like this kid with an orange cap means business. I don't know if he does or not. Is he like a ranger or is he a kid? My Pokemon strong points. You'll see them if you fight. I will see them, I, I guess. <clears throat> Youngster Nicholas has two Pokemon. It's a Venipede. Oh, they're quite cool. I actually love Scolipede. I actually love Crocodile as well. Sandile was the other Pokemon I saw. I kind of breezed over that. I haven't really seen... I don't, I don't think I have seen them in this game yet. Um, they're really cool designs. I think Gen 5 got a lot of... bad reputation... for bad Pokemon designs. But actually... like, And before I played Gen 5 as well, that's just what I thought. Oh, really? The Protect? Why? It's so annoying. Before I've been playing this game, I was like, oh yeah, Gen 5, the designs are a bit just kind of eh. They kind of copy, copy Gen 1 a bit with like, Sork and Throw, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan. Uh, just other stuff, it just... I don't know. I just didn't think I'd like the Gen 5 Pokemon, but after using them, I really love them. I think they're awesome. I know there's, there are some designs like Garbodor that are a bit like, 
Eh. I don't, I don't think so. But, um, on the most part, I really love all the designs. And I'm sad I haven't played Gen 5 sooner. So I'm really looking forward to just continuing on through this little adventure. And then playing the sequels as well at some point. Let's go for a Leaf Tornado. This better do some good damage. Because... Wait a second. How did that timber just outspeed me? Or does Bide have priority? I don't know. Anyway, not that it matters, because this thing... Provided I don't miss. Did I just jinx it? Ice! Oh, just jinx that. Oh my goodness. Now it's going to go for Bide and it's actually going to probably kill me. Yep. Why did I jinx that? What an idiot. Oh well. It does mean that Rai gets a lot more experience, so... That's all good. Uh, let's low kick. And... Will low kick kill you from this range? I don't know. Are you heavy? I hope you're heavy. You are quite heavy. That's good. That was only neutral. I thought that'd be not very effective. We didn't even level up. We lost Hallow for nothing. Now I've got to run all the way back. I'm so sorry. If I had a revive, I'd use it, because... I'd rather um, waste my money and my items and your guys' time, because I understand it's really boring me watching me run through Pinwall Forest. However nice this environment does look. It does actually look pretty nice. Um, I think that's one thing I really like in Gen 5, actually. Maybe it's just because I don't know the area and because I haven't explored it before, but I really like the uh, environment design in this. It's really, really cool so far. I'm just generally loving this game. I'm really glad that I get to play it and there's other people that... Uh, actually want to watch me play it as well. That's really nice. Um, anyways, continuing on. Let me just skip this bit of grass. We kind of can. Continuing on through this forest. Never mind. Probably got another Sawaddle to deal with. I was correct. There's definitely something on that grass mound as well. There's a little, two little grass mounds coming up. I don't trust them. I don't know if they're items or Team Plasma Grunts, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. Okay, that one's nothing. What's in this? Antidote. That's helpful. That will save us running back as well. What are you? You're so... I knew you were something. You're a ranger. Why are you? Why do the rangers hide in piles of leaves? Get great powers drawn from nature without opposing it. That is the strength of rangers. If there's a ranger in every single grass pile... There's probably... Not every single one, but like... I reckon there's going to be a lot. You've got a pan sage. Oh, that's actually really annoying. You're level 18 and we've got nothing to deal with you with. I guess low kick is just gonna have to do the 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 stuff. You've gone for leech seed. This is gonna be like a four or five hit KO then. With leech seed. Maybe four. Yeah, I reckon that's gonna be four because of leech seed. It's fine though. We will be able to get through this just about okay. And we'll get a level from it as well. Vine whip, maybe not. Okay, that's fine. I did a lot less than I thought it was gonna do, so we're good. Ugh. That would have been a three-hit KO if you hadn't seeded me, stupid little monkey. Unless we can get a crit. A crit would be really nice right about now. Please. Please. Come on, I jinxed it when I avoided the attack. Can I not, like, unjinx it and get a crit or something? Apparently not. This is actually, like, getting quite close. If he crits me with this vine whip, I'm probably gonna die. Never mind, we good. I think we would have lived anyway. I only did ten. Nice. This Pan Sage is gone. I'm just going to use a Super Potion. Because, uh... He did quite a bit of damage to me. Rai wants to learn Wake Up Slap. Nice. Is that a normal type move? It's a fighting type. Power 60. How much does Rock... The Rock Smash does 40. Ah, uh, but it also wakes up the target. Hmm... Inflicts big damage on a sleeping tiger, though, so maybe it does double damage if they're asleep. I think I'm going to get rid of Rock Smash, because Rock Smash in this generation isn't a HM, so we can forget it at any time. Um, and it's also a TM, which doesn't break, so we, if we want Rock Smash back, we can just teach it again. So we're going to get rid of Rock Smash. That's good. We got another, like, better consistent move, although it doesn't lower the defense, which kind of sucks. Um, but yeah... That's kind of nice that we got another move. I thought it was going to be all the way to level 29. I literally just said that. This is one of the powers I got from nature. A Chesto Berry. What a good power. Thank you for the berry. Even things you can't do alone if you're someone else. That's right. We always have Pokemon around us. Isn't that great? Uh, that's great. I don't think that sentence really made sense. Let's use a fresh water or suit. Let's 
Super Potion, I guess. Yeah, Super Potion will do the trick there. 49 points, getting our value for money, yes. So we're going to go through this log. This is a pretty cool little log. What's it even going over? Like a valley? And there's more logs up here. I was fully expecting a ranger in there. This log's really cool though. Like, I'd, I'd live here. Damn. Okay, let's just stop faffing about. We can go this way. Okay, so there's another Team Plasma Grunt up there. Let's just head around. There's a range. There's so a ranger in this one. I so cool that. Yes. Come on, let's take a deep breath. Inhale. Let's just breathe. All right, next side the Pokemon. Fight. Let's have a fight then. You're probably going to have a pan something. Pan poor maybe. Wait, did the, no, the last one had pan said. Yeah, pan poor. So cool that. And there's another little grass mound. That one's going to have a pan seer, I bet. So... We're gonna go for some low kicks again. Or we can, let's just switch into Hallow and just one shot it with a Leaf Tornado. Hallow's like. Hallow's on par with Rhinel. That's kind of good. Because I do really want a well balanced team. I want all my Pokemon to stay the same level. I don't want my starter to just be like the OP thing that bulldozes through everything. Um, I much prefer having a, a well rounded team these days. Please don't miss again. Thank you. This should easily one shot. Yep, that's good. Um, so, let's just stick Pan Pro out the front to deal with this Pan Seer that's inevitably coming up. Um, and then, after that, probably switch Rai back out front for the Team Plasma Grunt. There is a perfect place for everyone. I can agree with that. Uh, Pan Paw, level 15. This is not the summary I wanted. Switch. Cool. We are ready. But what is coming? Really? There was only a tiny mush from here. You really did that to me? Like, I'm not mad, because it means it was one less fight we got to do, but like... Did I fight a Panzer earlier on? Maybe I did. Okay, let's stick Rai back out front. Summary. Gets me every time. Okay. So... The fact that this guy is on like a massive pedestal, I'm feeling that this is like the last Plasma Grunt, so let's just see what he's got to say for himself. So, you made it this far. I'll hold you here so my friends can get away. I was maybe wrong. This guy is literally just stalling for time. Um, I think. Yep. Your talent challenged by Team Plasma Time Staller with a Patrat, wow. Level 16, you really are just stalling for time. Oh my goodness, you're so weak. This is just going to be the easiest fight probably ever to have existed in, 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 this, in this region ever, in any game. Ugh. Well, you didn't really time stall for that long, did you? And you gave me loads of money, so did it really work out that well for you? No, it didn't. Yep, I'm here to buy time, we know. And if you don't step lively, we're going to get away. Mate, I've got running shoes that my mum gave me. I am going to catch you guys so easy. Uh, what's in this? Paralyze heal. Uh, so. I don't think we did fight ourselves a pants here. And that wasn't the last magma. Mag oh my god, plasma. That's like the second time I've done that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Where are these range? Oh, it's in this one. There we go, I called it. Blend into the wilderness and talk to your Pokemon with your heart. That is a ranger. Okay, so this guy's got out of a Panzer. What? I'm convinced there's a Panzer around here somewhere. M Miguel, Miguel has one. It's definitely Miguel. Satisfaction. I was right. We can probably two-shot this thing. And he's not going to be able to touch us because he's the wrong typing. What a fool. Incinerate. Damn. If there was a move called Evaporate, that would be pretty cool. If there was a fire type move called Evaporate, it's kind of like uh, Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. Like, a fire type move that was so powerful it could evaporate water and be neutral. That'd be pretty cool. Really? You're not even a two shot? I'm disappointed. Didn't even get the crit. It's fine. As long as this thing doesn't paralyze me, we'll be good. We're fine. Nice. Oh, he's gone for the yawn. Does that mean I get yawn soon? Oh, that would be nice. That'd be really nice. Because then I can put things to sleep and then wake them up with a wake-up slap. And damn, this is... Oh, this team, I love it so much. So, what do we got left to do? I'm sure you can fully utilize this. Is it another... It's a Petra Berry. We've been recording for pretty well half an hour now. Um, this guy's telling me about blending in or something. 
There's a Team Plasma Grunt up there. There's a Pokeball down here. And there are zero minutes left of the episode to record. I'm going to use a Repel and just get this last Pokeball. Um, and then after that, I think we are going to have to leave um, that last Plasma Grunt to tomorrow's episode. Because I don't think we got time today. Let's put Rai out front so that we actually repel things, because I'm pretty sure there's like level 16s and 17s in the wild around here. Uh, hey, there's another one that we can't get yet. How do we get over there? Oh. Okay. I really hope as well. I've been doing this really windy, mazy road. I really hope that it actually does link up to the end path and we don't have to run all the way back and just go straight up the middle. That would be... Is there something down there? No, there's not. Okay. Cool. So, Repel's effect wore off. <laughs> wore off. Perfect timing. And we're just going to end it in the log today. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't make it all the way through Pinwheel Forest, which does kind of suck. But um, I do want to keep these episodes around 30 minutes long. Um, and we'll just finish it off tomorrow. Um, I don't know how much further i got to go as well. So I don't want to, like, almost get there and then not finish it. We're just... We'll fight this Team Plasma Gun tomorrow. We'll see what's going on. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, please remember to leave a like as well. Just thank you for coming out and watching the videos as well. It really just means so much. And yeah, we'll finish off Pinball Forest tomorrow. So I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.